Hello again. I'm um, just going to do a couple more videos on my gardening adventures. I have um, voles, or otherwise known as field mice, that have taken up residence. My squash and my pumpkins and my broccoli are pretty prolific and have provided a lot of moisture and shade. And so they've made themselves at home. <laughs> so I did a little research on the internet this morning and did some Facebooking with friends to come up with a plan to get rid of them and I'm not a hands-on animal killer so that wasn't up my alley and there's too many of them for me to race around and get them anyway. So um, here's a little bit of the idea that I have. Um, one of the websites talked about listening to old farmers and such and so one idea was to use um, instant mashed potatoes and they suggested to use um, artificial instant mas mashed potatoes because I presume they're more deadly than natural ones and the other idea was to use plaster of Paris and chocolate so I didn't use just mashed potatoes I did go get some plaster of Paris and I have some instant chocolate drink mix that I got at a country store and I love to shop at country stores but this particular drink mix I didn't think tasted very good so I was at the hardware store buying the plaster of Paris and she said that um, they do tell their customers <laughs> excuse me <laughs> to use chocolate to trap moles and field mice and things because they like chocolate over peanut butter or anything else. So the plan is that if you mix the chocolate into the plaster of Paris and mix it up, that the chocolate attracts them, they eat it, and the plaster of Paris turns to basically hard plaster in their bellies and kills them. And so that's my attempt here. Um, I'll put this on a little stand so you can watch me do this if you wish. This salt container I need it as a video prop. How's that? Get a handle on my messy kitchen here. I had grand plans of processing more zucchini and squash today, but there's more moles than I want to contend with in my garden. Um, I have two little garden beds, so I'm doing two little dishes of this. That one has a little much in it. Um, so I'm going to put one in each garden bed. And I'm hoping I don't have too many problems with finding them when they're dead. The one in the big garden bed, um, I can put by the, the wood pile because, um, that way they'll die outside of the garden because when I go into my garden and they take a run they run into the wood pile. Uh, let's give them plenty of chocolate make sure they get right in there and eat it. Get my little whisk. This is my favorite little whisk. It's a rata whisk. Um, it's great for eggs and just whipping things. It does gravies. I haven't had a lumpy gravy in ages because it blends them up so nicely. Okay, I think I'm going to say that's good enough for that one. This one. a little shallow. I'm going to make sure they can be able to reach right in there. Plenty. That's lovely mess. Yeah, well. So we'll see if the old farmer's wives are correct. Give this a good try. Okay, now phase two of my plan is castor oil. 
apparently rodents don't like the taste of castor oil. So um, I'm thinking I'm going to mix it with water and sprinkle it around the outside edge of the garden and see if that repels them. It's the bad flavor. I went with the non-toxic well, I guess Plaster of Paris is toxic, but I'm not spreading it on my plants. But, um, hopefully the moles die outside of the garden. Um, as far as things I put on my plants, I went non-toxic because I have fruit bearing already. I'm sort of anti-toxicity and have done all I can to start my plants by seed and grow them non-toxically. Um, I probably scientifically can't say that I'm 100% non-toxic, but I do what I can. I will make a return video on the success of this effort. <laughs> well, I'll talk to you later. Over now. Bye.